Quite often we think of sustainability as being the wide open spaces, the acreage developments and so forth, but reality is Toronto and Vancouver, dense and intense cities like that, are really the ones that are the most sustainable in perpetuity. And so uh, there's been a multiple growth, smart growth formulas, if you will, that are being developed, uh, which analyze, optimize density uh, in order to minimize uh, the amount of movement and so forth. And of course, we looked at that previously with Jeff Dyer's concept of the five minute walking radius. And uh, as, we, as we look at that, uh, we know that we want to preserve enough open space for quality of life and comfort. I had an opportunity to spend some time in China and you recognize that you can have an amazing amount of density and still have that amenity available. It just needs to be carefully planned. So we took a look at a, an example here. Um, it's a project that we've been involved in from a planning perspective. And uh, this is in fact on the eastern edge of Calgary. This is in fact the Trans-Canada that comes into the city. We're next to the Stony Trail. Uh, very fortuitously, we have a large stormwater retention pond, which functions almost like a little lake. We have a cemetery over here, which actually is going to be mirrored. And then we have a village, which has already been constructed. So from a planning perspective, all of the boundaries of the site were very known and understood. Now, the geometry that has already been built consists of 175 um, bungalow style, albeit duplex townhouse kind of development um, that is very low density and it was not in fact sustainable to the point uh, that it was not sustainable even financially. The cost of infrastructure and so forth made this particular place uh, challenged financially every year. Uh, the cost of water delivery, for instance, was $9 a cubic meter when you should be able to get water for $1.25. It was still Calgary water, but it had to be trucked and shipped. So we took a look at uh, this very low uh, density and thought, how can we actually make this project to be viable? And with the Rocky View County, we were then able to intensify it and bring in a great number of additional units. Now from a planning perspective, the city of Calgary wants to expand with low density single family residents, which then would flow into townhouses, then to uh, some mid rise uh, development that would then flank the highway, creating a bit of a buffer and protection uh, from the highway, creating a mixed use environment. And surprisingly, if you consider that half the site is covered in 175 units, we are able to add 1,500 units and get them sanctioned with Rocky View County. So you can immediately see that the servicing, the pipes, the roads and so forth, suddenly it becomes economically viable. It allowed us to take a look at how density can create sustainability.